Uh, hey everyone, this is the second part of editing Windows 7 appearance. I wasn't going to make this video, but I, des I decided I would because there are some other things that I didn't cover in the first one, the first video, so here I am. Uh, there's one cool thing you can do, so go personalize, and then you can go change mouse pointers. Now what this does is changes your mouse, like the little arrow you can see here. So you can go for normal, you can go browse, and so you can look through the different cursors. Now you can make your own, and I'll show you how to do that in a later video. But you can like, okay, if I want to do that, and you go apply, this is my new mouse, and so I can like click X on that, and yeah, so that's it. Uh, you can also change all the other ones, so if it's working in background, it helps work if your mouse is busy. Um, if it's unavailable, vertical resize, so if it's doing all these different things, you can go use default, so it restores it to default. Um, you can also change the size of um, your desktop icons here by right clicking and going view, large icons, makes them really big. You can right click and go view small icons, makes them tiny, but yeah, medium icons. And then you can do all these different things here. Uh, if you right click and go gadgets, taking a little offload, uh, you can do these, do all these different sidebar gadgets. So if I want, I can add the calendar, and they appear up here on the right of my screen. I can do all these different ones, and yeah, you can like put a clock there, and stuff like that, and you can also edit the clock, so you can go through and like choose when you want but um yeah and you can change the settings and you can download more gadgets by right clicking and going to gadgets then clicking on get more gadgets online and when you click that it'll load it in internet And so it'll take you to the Microsoft website where you can download different desktop things and different. So you can go desktop gadgets and get more desktop gadgets. And then it'll load all these different gadgets that you can download. And you can also make your own different gadgets. And so yeah, there's billions of different ones you can see here. These are all the categories and there's over, there's 198 pages in one category. So there's lots of different gadgets you can download. And so yeah, you can edit this taskbar here as well. Right click and go properties. And so you can make it so it auto hides. So you can go around here and do whatever, and it automatically hides the taskbar. And so you just hover over it to, for it to come back up. You can change that by unticking auto hide the taskbar, and that takes it away. You can also go lock the taskbar and untick that 
and brings up this so you can like change all this stuff you can make it bigger like that I don't know why you'd want it that big but you can do that you can also drag it to the right and uh, you can put it wherever you want so uh, yeah it's kinda cool being on the side as well but uh, yeah just get it back onto the bottom you can also do that with the right hand side as well just put the gadgets out a bit and yeah that's it uh, and so yeah you can change all these different settings about it you click lock the taskbar to lock it again and so that's this video for editing the Windows 7 appearance and um, yeah if you've got any questions feel free to contact me.